Good evening. The Scottish Government's pledged another £10 million to Dundee's V&A Museum of Design after it was revealed the cost of the building had nearly doubled. The project team say inflation in the construction industry is partly to blame, but a leading architect claims the museum could never have been built for the original £45 million budget. Andrew Anderson reports. This is the vision, the V&A Dundee, a jewel on the Tay, the UK's first purpose-built museum of design outside London. This, for the moment, is the reality. An empty site waiting for building work to begin. It should have started last September. The project team ran into problems when they began looking for a builder. Only two construction companies were prepared to even consider such a complex project. Now, after months of negotiation, the best price is not £49 million, but £80 million. That is, however, a fixed price contract. Today, some relief after the government stepped in with an additional £10 million. We're also getting uh, exceptionally good uh, news from the uh, private sector, where uh, just over a week ago we had £7 million pledged. By the time of the, the press conference on Friday, we had £8.4 million. Less than a year ago, concerns over rising costs were already being voiced. The V&A team faced some tough questioning. But they insisted then that the building would come in on budget. I'm mystified by that false picture that's been painted. Uh, this is a, a very exciting day for Dundee and for uh, Scotland. Uh, I can absolutely say that the project remains on track at, uh, at, at, 40, at 45 uh, million pounds. Now they say unforeseen inflation of construction costs across the industry is partly to blame for the 30 million pound increase. But one of Scotland's leading architects believes the original price tag was never realistic. It was, it was clear to anyone with any experience in architecture and building buildings that it couldn't be built for the £50 million allocated budget. It just couldn't be done. So there had to be costs, reductions made. Tonight, £30 million still needs to be secured for the V&A, which it said will bring a quarter of a million visitors to Dundee and generate £12 million for the economy annually. It's now expected to be 2018 before it opens its doors. Andrew Anderson, reporting Scotland, Dundee. A woman has been seriously...